If you haven't heard of the Pathfinder LEDs, these are the guys that make extreme off-road LED light bars, and they just released a 5 and 3 quarter LED headlamp for Harley-Davidson models. This headlamp is designed to fit most 5 and 3 quarter inch headlights, and the best part, it's plug and play. You simply remove the old headlight, put the new LED lamp in, and plug it in. It couldn't be simpler. The only tool you need for this job is a Phillips screwdriver. Today we're at Dream Machines of Texas to install a Pathfinder HD5 LED on this Harley-Davidson Dyna Wide Glide. The first thing we need to do is to remove the existing headlight from the Harley-Davidson. Now to do this, you need to locate the chrome trim ring retaining screw. It'll, it's a Phillips screw. It's at the bottom of the chrome trim ring as shown here. There's also maybe a little nut on the other side. Go ahead and remove this screw and the nut and then you will be able to remove this chrome trim ring as shown. You should always keep pressure on the headlamp while you remove the chrome trim ring because it could just fall out. And as you can see, it just comes right out. Now it is connected to some wires. There's a connector on the back of the headlamp assembly. And there's a couple of tabs I'm showing you here. You just press those in from each side and that connector will come loose. Now you'll notice on the back of the Pathfinder, uh, you have a plug that matches the connector inside the headlight bucket. It is plug and play. You basically just plug this into the connector and you're ready to go. The next thing you need to do is just uh, install the Pathfinder inside the headlight bucket. Now you want to make sure you have it oriented correctly. There's a sticker and that's on the top of the headlamp assembly. So make sure that's facing in the up position. Set it inside the headlight bucket and while you're holding it in place, you can now go ahead and replace that chrome trim ring. Put it back in, make sure everything's adjusted properly. You can kind of eyeball it here. Make sure that the bottom where the screw goes in the chrome trim ring is at the very bottom. So you simply replace the screw and the nut, tighten everything down, and you're done.